Hi everyone. Hi. I'm here on the couch with Sophia. Hello. She is a senior copywriter at one of the largest advertising agencies in Australia and she's going to give us some great tips around content, content writing and creativity. Yay. So let's just go straight into it. Mm -hmm. So first question here is when it comes to content, mm -hmm. where do you start? So, where do I start? Oof. Content for brands um, usually entails video, uh, articles, so copy, and photos, so graphs, photos of yourself, photos of inspiration. Um, what I focus on a lot is articles and videos, and what I would suggest to start with is to divide all of your content into categories, and that's what we like to call content pillars. Right. So. Um, if you were in um, health and fitness, for example, what I would suggest is dividing your content into educational. So anything that you can teach people about nutrition or um, muscle building, um, anything that can be seen as something that I would learn, but I don't have to practically interact with. So, so it creates like credibility yeah. or being so the expert in that exactly. field. Exactly. So okay, because cool. you know something that your customer or your potential customers don't, you're then seen as an authority and therefore creating trust. So yeah. that's a really, really nice way to um, gain credibility. Um, the second one I would suggest is practical stuff. So if you're in health and fitness, uh, do a workout video. Um, is there something you can teach with making a smoothie? If you're in you know, the food business, is there a cooking demonstration? So right. it's stuff so, that you can teach people to do yeah. rather than educate them on. Okay. Yeah. And then maybe a third pillar could be promotional stuff. So this is the hard sell. Um, health and fitness again. I am an online trainer. If you want to see yourself progress and work out from home, you know, give me a email, give me a tag. Yeah. Like yeah. A homework app program. Yeah. So I mean, it's okay, okay to self promote. It's just as, as long as it's not all the time. And again, it's as long as it's not just one of the content pillars all the time. So um, am I seeing then like three different um, let's say videos or three mm. different articles mm -hmm. or is this all in one article? I would say just to always keep with your content pillar because there's always next time to do the other thing. Mm -hmm. um, so a really, really nice way to start is by SEO, so search engine optimization. Um, if you get someone on board who's an SEO um, expert, or you can do it yourself, it's just a little bit hard, you might want to do some research into that, but yeah. it basically shows you what people are searching for right now in your area of expertise or your industry, mm -hmm. and then you can actually see what you could like be writing okay. to. And, so like um, keywords yeah. and stuff. So we, okay. we did one for Anytime Fitness, and it exposed a lot of questions about, um, you know, what do I do at the gym, and this is for first timers, or um, how do I meal prep? So I can mm. see these search terms. I know that people are searching for that. Maybe that can then drive my content. So right, I do an, so clever. I do an article on meal prep. Yeah. And then at the end of that article, I always say, always be closing. Um, and that means that you always have an end goal in sight. So the even if it, yeah, yeah. So yeah, even okay. if it's just something on um, education, mm -hmm. at the end, is there anything you can say as a soft sell? If you would like to know more, just send me an email. Yeah. Or um, I know a lot about nutrition, so if you would be keen for a, you know a meal plan, to give me about. Me yeah. Another really nice way of looking for inspiration for content is see what's out there at the moment um, in terms of context. Yep. Is it an Easter show? I mean, is it an Easter show? Is it Easter? Cool, I'm going to do some content around chocolate. Yeah. Is it a Monday? Okay, yeah. Monday motivation. It'll be very so. seasonal and, and yes. think about what you're writing yeah. about that it is. And plan it out as well. Yeah. There's three content pillars. I'm going to do this, this, and this. And then on this date, I'm going to do that. Oh, it fits in education. So just really plan it out and have a think about the pillars. Okay. Mm. Great. Well, thank you. Uh, content is one thing and then content writing mm. is another thing which is my own challenge i'm not a great writer um english is my second language but also i'm just i'm not a writer um a so, lot of people aren't writers yeah but a lot of people can write yeah so there's a very very big distinction between the two right sorry do you want to complete your question yes sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what 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 are your tips when it comes to 
what can I do, for mm. example, to improve my writing mm. when it comes to articles or even improve my um, videos? Um, mm. What tips would you have for yeah. that? So that's a huge area. Yeah. Um, probably not enough to explain in this video. No. But um, I would start with the very basics. Download Grammarly. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Google Chrome extension that checks your copy, which is just writing. Um, read it out loud. If you've written something, read it out loud to yourself. Yeah. And then read it to a friend and make sure it makes sense for them. Um, another thing I see quite a lot is people use very complex terms um, and words to try to show off that they're authoritative, but it doesn't yeah. actually make sense to the everyday person. So there's a huge balance between that. So you've got to really make sure that you and not dumb it down, but talk in simple, talk in simple terms yeah. um, make sure your sentences are short and succinct. Um, make sure there's not too much fluff, not too much jargon. You've got to really think what is the core thing that I'm trying to say in this article or status and make sure you say it quickly <laughs> so because straight people don't point. have time to yeah. read a lot. Um, so you've got to just think about your reader. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and another way to get really good inspiration is I, what I do is I look for copywriting books. Um, I read a lot. I read a lot of magazines um, just to see how other people are I'm writing. writing so for example, yeah. um, this is a great book. It's by Mark Shaw. It's called Copywriting, Successful Writing for Design, Advertising and Marketing. We'll do a story session later on. <laughs> so this is a really cute ad. It's very old. It's for, for an RV company. And for example, the body copy, which just means the core copy, um, the long copy, yep. it says spot a spotted owl, whistle while you walk, nestle in at night, do just about anything and go just about anywhere with an RV. Go to rvking.com for a free video and visit an RV dealer today. Oh, that was so pleasant to so, I mean, that, just, <laughs> that inspires me because it's just got three really nice examples of what you can imagine. So it draws the reader in and then it follows by the product. So it makes it relevant to what you've just said. And then it has a hard CTA. So how can I find out more? It's really simple. And that's just inspired me of a way that I can structure my content. I yeah. do three really cute things that are really, really short and then I will then drive a CTA. Very so get, very get something simple. like that. There's a ton of copywriting books out yep. there. Um, there's a lot of websites. Just read. Okay. And if you we'll put some there. recommendations um, yeah. down in the, in the caption as mm. well. So. Yeah. Um, okay. And then last question. Mm -hmm. You are a very creative bee. Um, mm. And I've seen that with your work with Amax and Toyota, mm. Anytime Fitness, mm. and all the other brands, and um, it just it is really inspiring. Mm. And I just want to know how, where do you find your creativity? Where do you go? What do you do? Mm. So it's, it's really strange in advertising in the industry. Um, you're basically it's very odd. You get given a brief to come up with ideas, and then you get given a time. So sometimes it's three hours. So by 12 o'clock, we want three ideas. Okay, cool. So wow. it's really weird because it's like, yes, I could do that as if it was a writing brief, but coming mm. up with ideas is different because sometimes you might not feel it. So you've got to think holistically is your, you know, think about when you are most productive. So for me, it's in the morning. So that's when I would do my writing or my idea generation. Mm. Um, think of a person who you can just talk to um, where you could possibly ideate. Brainstorm. So brainstorm together. Yeah. Um, think about the place as well. So I work really well in a cafe where there's lots of noise going around me, but it's also ambient noise. Mm. Um, that's when I like to write. And for brainstorming, I like to get out to parks because nature, for some reason, in the open air allows me to think and yeah. allows me to have space. Um, but again, just whatever works for you, um, make sure that you're feeling good and then your ideas will flow. Um, another little tip is mm -hmm. that I like to time myself. So I give myself an hour block. Mm -hmm. I set my alarm for an hour from now. I put on flight mode. I have a big A3 sheet of paper and I brainstorm and that's if I'm doing it by myself. Wow. So yeah. there's, there's a lot of techniques that you can do, yeah. um, but again, it's just, it depends on the person, but um, yeah, anything that you can do that makes you focus, okay. I think yeah. that's probably the best tip I can give. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I definitely encourage, um, I guess, for everyone to be creative in their field um, and not just copy and paste ideas. And mm. it's just really good to, um, I guess, concentrate and mm. just to think outside of the box and to get into that zone because um, I can see some great mm. results coming out of your work and um, perhaps you would have seen it um, also in on commercials and on um, you know um, websites websites apps, um, ads emails and, yeah <laughs> exactly so that's all her 
pretty awesome. Yeah. All right. So I guess we covered here kind of like those content pillars. We did mm. educational bit mm -hmm. and some practical tips as well. So I guess we're now at our last content pillar and that is um, the promotional piece. Um, where can we find more information about you? I love how structured this is. <laughs> it's so good. Um, so brainstorming, again, I'm available to kind of um, hit ideas around because I'm really passionate about, yes, I've got my full-time job, but I also love helping small businesses. Um, so if anyone is just in need of brainstorming advice or even just live editing, I usually offer an hour session. Um, and then, yeah, if you just ever have a question, I'm, I'm here to help. I'm okay. passionate about it. So um, my details are in the description. I'll just put it down here in the comment section below. Yeah. All right, good. Well, thank you so much for your time. Short and sharp. And um, this has been very useful for me as well. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.